Addies, Grunts, Admin, Sweet Banana Gaming here with more of my Pokemon Y Wonderlock. And it is time again for another training episode because I've got a few levels to um, overcome here or to gain. Mostly I'm going to be training up Lo Load of Croc in this episode because I'm just trying to catch her up to the rest of the team. Get her ready to take on the gym. I do have the experience share on for the good first chunk of this episode. And, uh, but uh, at some point, a lot of my Pokemon hit the level limit, like, at the same time. They all hit level 37 in the same battle. And so then I shut off the experience share, and I just resumed training Load of Croc. And she will evolve in this episode, so um, even though everything's sped up right now, when it's time for her to evolve, the little sequence where she evolves will be uh, normal speed, although I'll still kind of be talking over it because uh, we have question and answer time again. So my lovely fellow Team Eclipse admins have provided me with a few more questions. Actually, some of them are left over from last time I didn't have time to get to. So I'm just going to get right to it and start with the first question here is the origin of my name uh, being Sweet Banana Gaming. Well, the gaming part should be self-explanatory, but actually Sweet Banana is a sort of username that I've been using for a little while now. Um, my, the backstory is my parents have were always really big fans of the Beatles, and when I went to college, I started getting into them too and started discovering them, and I got really uh, all right, obsessed. I won't lie. I got obsessed, and I still I'm still a big fan now. But I went through this really obsessive period, and my favorite member of those and my favorite all-time artist is Paul McCartney and I just thought I just was getting in all his songs really cool so this one song he did while he was with Wings which was the group he was in after the Beatles um, the name of the song is Hi 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 spelled H-I-H-I-H-I -H -H -I, uh, which is not what it's about it's actually quite a raunchy song but I just thought that a really funny line in the song was Sweet Banana it's just, it just is there in the context of the song. It's kind of so random. It's just thrown in there. And so it just kind of stuck with me. It was, it was just kind of neat. Um, and as, also the fact that it, it kind of made sense. Like bananas are actually one of my favorite kind of fruit as well. Uh, my other favorite fruits are pineapples and oranges. And in dried form, I like papaya a lot as well. But anyway, I like a, a few different kinds of fruits, but bananas are pretty good. They're always, they're a good snack food. They're a good food to have when you're athletic, when you're about to do physical activity, gets rid of the lactic acid for you, the potassium in bananas. Anyway, bananas are cool and Paul McCartney is cool. And that's basically the reason behind my, my name being the way it is. Actually nothing to do with video games or Pokemon at all. So, but you know, sometimes things totally unrelated come in. But on the note, on the subject of bananas, one of this one of these questions I got was, if you could have a or make up a banana themed Pokemon, what would it be? Aside from, of course, Tropius, I guess. Well, the only thing I really thought of, I really tried to think. I mean, other than having like a monkey Pokemon that has a banana, which is kind of silly, I kind of got an idea from um, watching a playthrough of. Pokemon Sweet version, which is a ROM hack of, I believe it's Fire Red, that basically turns all of the Pokemon, or like a good chunk of Pokemon, into dessert-themed creatures. And so uh, one example is the Snivy line. It, instead of being just like a grass snake, I guess, it becomes a banana snake family, I guess. Um, I forget what Snivy's name was, but I remember Superior, they called it Banperior, and it it basically, it worked, you could kind of, if you picture Superior has like the green, I don't know what you would call it, like an outer layer of skin or whatever, the green that's supposed to look like it's got a regal collar or whatever, that part of Superior, well they made that part into a banana peel, and then Superior's head is like the banana, and that was on my mind at the time when the question was asked, and I really couldn't think of anything else, like a better idea than that. I just thought it was kind of cool, like a banana snake that was actually like a banana coming out of the peel. And But unfortunately, Superior is already, uh, is already exists, so it was kind of a, an offshoot of Superior. But um, as far as the other part of the question actually was what moves would the Pokemon have? And I think short of making up moves, um, I thought that it could have, obviously, wrapper bind, glare, obvious choices for, um, for a snake sort of Pokemon. Bullet Seed and Seed Bomb, mainly, 
I, I just thought uh, bullet seed and seed bomb, like bananas kind of have those little seed things and they are fruit, so I thought that could be appropriate. Um, bite or crunch, again, kind of snake type moves, but you do take a nice big bite of, out of banana, um, or any fruit, I guess. Uh, as far as other attacks, I don't know. Another one I had written down on my shortlist was acid armor, and I didn't really know why, other than like, bananas kind of get mushy or whatever. I just thought that would be an interesting... I'm not sure about, um, you probably have to make up attacks that would make sense. Um... It could probably have the ability Shed Skin, though, you know, it just takes off the peel and then heals its status conditions. But anyway, on to uh, another banana-themed Pokémon, the one that's already in existence. Um, someone asked me, do you even like Tropius? So yeah, Tropius is my mascot, of course, going in with the whole sweet banana thing. It is not actually my favorite Pokémon, I know a lot of the other admins chose their favorite Pokémon as their mascot, but with the name, Tropius was pretty fitting. Uh, Tropius has a lot of things that I do like about it. Tropius is part grass type, which is one of the types of my actual favorite Pokemon, which I have mentioned what it is before, but I won't go around saying it too much because uh, I do plan in the future on doing top 10 videos and stuff like that, and I don't wanna, want it to be too obvious. But anyway, the Tropius is a grass type. Grass types are kind of cool. Um, I think I mentioned in a previous episode, not Grass isn't necessarily my favorite type, but a lot of Pokemon that I like are grass types, and I do like Tropius a lot. Uh, grass and flying type, it's, you know, a big, giant brontosaurus with, well, I guess by brontosaurus standards, it's actually pretty small, but it's this brontosaurus with big palm tree wings and bananas coming off of its chin. It's just kind of a neat, kind of half fun and silly and half cool designed Pokemon. And honestly, Tropius is one of those Pokemon that I really do like. I like a lot more in concept than I do like in actual use. Because unfortunately, Tropius, in stats-wise and typing-wise, isn't the best Pokemon for battling. And honestly, in my playthroughs of Ruby and Sapphire, Mega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, most of the time I would start with a grass type, so I would start with Trico. But even when I didn't, you always encountered Tropius kind of later in the game, so it was never in time to put it on my team. Kind of like also the same thing with Absol, because they, I think you found them on the same route or similar or one right after the other in the game. Same thing with Absol. Absol I, is a Pokemon that I really like design-wise, and actually Absol is pretty viable in battle, but just never got to... It, it was so late in the game when you got it. And in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, it's easier to train up Pokemon you get later in the game, but in the original Ruby and Sapphire, it wasn't, so I kind of just panned by Absol and Tropius, so I never really get to use them a lot. So, but yeah, I really, I do like Tropius. I love dinosaurs. I, when I was a kid, I had a giant obsession with dinosaurs, and when I first saw Tropius, like, the, the art for it, when Ruby and Sapphire were going to be released, I was really excited. I thought it was one of the most awesome Pokemon I'd ever seen. Turned out to be not as great in execution as it was, sort of, in theory, but I do still like Tropius. Alright, and uh, the last question I have for this time is, if you could pick one Pokemon to travel with, what would it be? And this is a kind of an interesting thing to talk about because I could, you know, go with like, what's my favorite Pokemon, and what would I like to, you know, I'd like to travel with my favorite Pokemon, and, but I, I can't do that, necessarily, I can't just go with my favorite, I have to think of something a little more practical, what could I use? I, I was thinking I need to be something that I could, that could be uh, decent enough battling, or could be good for a form of transportation, and also be cool, so like something that either flies or swims, and so when I thought about it, Tropius is actually, would actually be an excellent Pokemon to travel around with. It can fly, it's a dinosaur, you'd have a pet dinosaur, I mean, again, that would be like a fulfillment of my childhood dreams, it would be amazing. But, um, also, the little bananas, or I guess they don't call them bananas, they just say a fruit, but the bananas that grow from Tropius' neck would provide you with some food, so if you were in a survival situation, you would never go hungry because you'd have a source of food. I don't know, that'd be kind of interesting, but uh, I don't know if I would pick Tropius, just because even though conceivably you could pick 
um, carry around any Pokemon in a Pokeball. I would like a Pokemon that's a bit smaller, they could be a, more, a little bit more inconspicuous, so I could still carry them around, not necessarily in the Pokeball. And trying to think about a Pokemon that was really practical, like Tropius could be, or like as far as offer some sort of utility, but still be something a little smaller, something I could carry around, you know, something to hug. Um, I would... The first one that comes to mind anyway would be Celebi. Because Celebi, you have the... Celebi can fly like Tropius. It's not really a flying type. I can't carry me, but it could carry me with telekinetic powers. It's a psychic type. So it could still, you know, have a form of transportation that way. It Celebi has healing powers, which... I don't know, maybe they only work on Pokemon, but maybe they work on people too, so healing powers would be kind of useful. And the ability to travel through time would be kind of cool. Um, Celebi, of course, being a time travel Pokemon. Now, as far as how often I would go back in time and like, or go in the future or whatever, I don't know. That would probably not be a responsible idea. I don't want to go around messing with the space-time continuum, but just the idea that you could go back in time, maybe I could rewind an event by a few minutes and try something again. It would be kind of cool. And Celebi, of course, is cute and cuddly and huggable, and it is really, it is one of my favorite Pokemon. It's not my number one favorite Pokemon, but it is a grass type, and it's one of my favorite Pokemon. So I would probably pick Celebi as one Pokemon to travel with. If I thought about it for longer, I could probably come up with a million different reasons for a bunch of other different Pokemon to be my choice. But just kind of thinking off the top of my head, giving a little bit of thought, that would be what I would choose. Um, and so we've got about another minute, minute and a half, Two minutes, I don't know exactly how this is timing out with the episode, but I guess that'll about do it because I'm going to do my little outro that takes a while. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching if you watched this little video. If you'd like to ask me some questions and maybe in the next training video I could answer them, go ahead and leave them in the comments or, you know, whatever. Um, leave them in the comments for the next video even. Leave them, you know, leave comments and just let me know what you're thinking, how you're feeling, if you have any questions for me. And, of course, if you like this video, leave a like, and if you would like to subscribe to Team Eclipse and you're not already a grunt, please do so. We have great admins, they ask great questions, um, and they provide a lot of great video content every day, pretty much. Um, you can also check out my channel, of course, Sweet Banana Gaming. There's an annotation coming up, there's a link in the description, go ahead and check me out. I do a lot of Pokemon playthroughs like this and other playthroughs as well, and I'm working on doing other forms of content. I have theory-style videos coming up now. I, like I mentioned, I do hope to do top tens at some point in the future. I know that's kind of an old, tired thing, but you know, it's kind of a personal thing, so it's kind of fun to do. So definitely check me out if you, you know, if you want to give me a shot. I'd love to have you on as a subscriber if you're not already a subscriber to my channel. But anyway, that will about do it for this episode, guys. So thank you once again so much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode of my Pokemon Y Wonderlock.